Way back in February 2024, I posted a video discussing sightings of one of the so-called Frank and Sam systems provided to Ukraine by Western allies. The ASRAM armed system was developed and provided by the UK, but until this year, little information was confirmed about it. On the 10th of May, the UK Ministry of Defence confirmed that the system is called Raven, and a total of 13 systems have been pledged. The previously available imagery showed that the system comprised of two AIM-132 Advanced Short-Range Air-to-Air Missiles, or ASRAM, mounted on a SuperCat HMT-600 6x6 vehicle. Also visible were what appeared to be a sensor unit mounted behind the cab on the vehicle's flatbed. This likely includes electro-optical and infrared sensors used for targeting. The UK-developed Raven is one of several ad hoc short-range air defence systems developed by the UK for Ukraine. The other being Gravehawk, a containerized system which utilises R-73 air-to-air missiles, which was unveiled in February 2025. Both systems are part of an effort to affordably and quickly boost Ukraine's air defences. In October 2023, a pair of videos shared by the Ukrainian Air Force gave a glimpse of the system in action. Both the videos were filmed at night and the first shows a launch, but the vehicle isn't visible. The second, shared on the 12th of October by Ukraine's Air Command South, shows the successful engagement of a Russian long-range loitering munition. As the darkness is lit up by the missile's launch, the Supercat 6x6 yeah! high-mobility transporter <laughs> is briefly visible. ASRAM uses infrared homing and can lock onto its target after launch. It has an air-launched range of more than 25 kilometers, but this is likely shorter when used in the ground-launched role. The system can be used in conjunction with radar systems which feed target data to the missile. A key feature of the ASRAM is its ability to lock on after launch, theoretically allowing it to be vectored onto target in the air before it begins IR homing. The system, however, isn't ideal with limited ready-to-fire capacity on the launcher ramp with just two rails, and there's no protection for the missiles themselves from either the elements or potential fragmentation or impact damage if attacked. The ad hoc air defence system first saw action in Ukraine in August 2023 and represents an ingenious improvisation utilising a highly capable missile in an air defence role it was never envisaged in. The UK Ministry of Defence summarised the system's development. In summer 2022, a joint MOD-MBDA team developed air defence systems to fire ASRAM from the ground for the first time. Within four months of initiating the service-launched ASRAM project, these air defence systems were developed, manufactured and trialled, and Ukrainian crews were trained on their usage on UK soil before being transferred into Ukrainian hands. It's unclear how many of the systems have been assembled, but in late 2023, it was reported that the UK had supplied a handful of the missile-equipped Supercat trucks. They were believed to be in use near the front and in the Kyiv region, defending key infrastructure against Russian long-range loitering munition attacks. In December 2023, the UK Ministry of Defence announced that a further 200 ASRAMs would be provided to Ukraine and that the systems in-country had achieved a successful hit rate reported as high as 90% against some Russian air targets. ASRAM's payload, a 10kg blast fragmentation warhead, is designed to destroy aerial targets with minimal collateral damage. A number of videos showing glimpses of the system itself, or the system in action, were shared throughout late 2023 and 2024. On the 12th of October 2023, footage of a night launch against a Shahed one-way munition was shared, including thermal footage from the system's sensors. In late February 2024, footage again from the Raven sensors showed the successful engagement of a Russian Zala reconnaissance drone. A month later, on the 20th of March, both external and system footage of a daytime engagement of a Russian Supercam S350 reconnaissance UAV was shared. Later in March, additional footage of what was also claimed to be a supercam was also shared.
On the 3rd of April, thermal camera footage of another UAV interception was posted on Ukrainian social media channels. The speed and vector of the missile suggest it was a Raven-launched ASRAM. On the 14th of April 2024, a short clip showing an ASRAM missile with a message written on it saying Rowdy Company, followed by footage of a nighttime launch was also shared. In early May 2024, Russian telegram channels shared drone footage of what they claimed as the destruction of one of the systems by a Lancet loitering munition. The profile of the vehicle, camouflage netting, and then the subsequent appearance of the missiles on the rear of the vehicle do appear to support the assertion that this was a Raven system. While footage of the systems in action is few and far between, another daytime video of the system in action was shared in mid-September 2024, having been previously posted on TikTok. Most recently, in late November 2024, a video containing footage from a number of Ukrainian anti-aircraft gun mounts showed several interceptions of Russian drones and a launch from what appears to be a Raven system. In March 2025, a couple of photographs were shared by the UK Ministry of Defence showing Rachel Reeves, the UK's Chancellor of the Exchequer, being briefed on Raven during a visit to RAF Northolt. Though the name of the system was not disclosed, they gave the best side-on look at the system to date. The UK Ministry of Defence unveiled the Raven officially on the 10th of May 2025. In a video posted on the UK MOD's YouTube channel, the system was shown in detail and some interesting stats were shared. Colonel Ollie Todd, the military assistant head of Task Force Kindred, Kindred being the MOD's effort to provide equipment to the Ukrainian armed forces from either UK stockpiles or from rapid procurement from UK industry, noted that the UK had provided approximately 400 ASRAM, which were near the end of their service lives, to Ukraine, and from around 400 launches, the system's engagement success rate stands now at around 70%. The video also confirms that eight Raven systems were deployed to Ukraine in 2022, and a further five are set to be provided in 2025. Raven was developed in just three months, with experts from MBDA, Supercat and the RAF's Air and Space Warfare Center involved in the process. The system combines a Supercat HMT-600 vehicle with the MBDA-manufactured ASRAM using a bespoke launch assembly which integrates launch pylons taken from legacy UK aircraft, including Hawks, Jaguars and Tornadoes. Unsurprisingly, Raven and Gravehawk use the same control system and likely share the same system integrated sensor units for tracking and identifying targets before locking on with the missiles onboard Seeker. While ASRAM is still in production, it's worth noting that other than the UK, the only other current user is India though several Middle Eastern nations have also recently reportedly adopted it. This means that the stocks of older missiles ready for disposal will be somewhat limited. It's so far unclear if the Raven systems could also be adapted to launch other missiles such as the R-73 used by the Gravehawk. Despite the potential limited availability of missiles, the relatively cost-effective price tag of an ASRAM reported to be around £200,000 or $260,000 makes the Raven a useful system, not only for protecting key Ukrainian infrastructure, but also, as we've seen from some of the available imagery, engaging Russian reconnaissance drones, which feed important information back to Russia's command and control apparatus. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you found this interesting. If you haven't already, do go back and check out my video from way back in February 2024. Also head over to thearmorsbench.com and check out all of our videos taking a look at weapon systems being used in Ukraine. If you enjoyed this video, please do share it with your friends or consider supporting us via Patreon or checking out the History of Weapons and War app. You can find full details about both of those in the description below. Thanks again for watching. Catch you next time.